Hi, welcome to Susan's Vintage Life, Beauty and More. Today I'm just stop, dropping in to do a tag. Um, after uh, talking to a few friends with YouTube channels, Ellen's Abundant Life, and since uh, and she got the tag from Sensible uh, Living with Money Mom, and Life with Patty also did this tag. It's the nine things that you don't regret buying. This will not follow my usual format. I will not be doing a vintage item today. I won't be doing my shout outs. I'm just uh, dropping in to do this tag. Nine things I don't regret buying. Number one, I don't regret buying some of the high-end makeup and skin hair that I've purchased over the years. Uh, some of the things that I've purchased, um, money has always been an object. Um, so I've always chosen carefully uh, what I purchase. Um, and I think that the things that I've purchased stood the test of time as far as pigmentation. You know, some you can buy a palette for less money sometimes, but you need, you practically dig into it before you get enough pigment on your eyes. Um, so I, I do feel like that uh, better makeup has better pigment, it has better lay down, it has better staying powder. I've used some wet and wild eyeshadows or some other cheaper ones from the drugstore. And I, don't misunderstand me, there's some really good things in a drugstore. You just have to uh, be careful about what you buy. But the things that I've purchased have stood the test of time. I took take care of them. I used the disinfecting method uh, that, that a lot of YouTube users use. I use the alcohol and I keep my brushes impeccably clean. I only touch my stuff with impeccably clean hands and I don't wear makeup if I have an eye infection. So I've really taken good care of the things that I've purchased and they've worked. Uh, I mentioned to you yesterday that um, I bought a Wet n Wild foundation stick. It didn't even, it cost me $5.99 and it didn't even last three weeks. It didn't last three weeks. I had to go buy something else. Well, I had, didn't have to buy it, but I had something else in the house. My last foundation that I wore religiously, that I put on every day when I went to work and and that I wore every single day was Tarte. And that is in the neighborhood of the, of the $30 mark. Uh, the Tarte um, clay, the, uh, their um, clay found, uh, formulation that they used. And I used that one bottle of Tarte uh, foundation for over six months before I had to purchase another one. So I just want to make that point that sometimes the upfront cost isn't the truth in the pudding. It's not always the, the true test of being frugal. You know, be, be, being frugal is being able to have something that lasts a long time. I mean, you can get a TV for $50 too, but how long does it last? You can get, you know, you can buy some cheaper things but the, are they the quality of which you're looking for? So I think that's something that people forget with skincare and makeup, that sometimes that, um, you know, that, that it that is worth the wear. You know, like, um, you know, maybe uh, one, maybe a expensive line has four different items you use for skincare, and that's the occasional stuff too. And another one that's cheaper you need 10 products to do a com to do their complete skincare regime. So I, you know, there's a lot to consider. Uh, and I just have not found that I, I do choose carefully what I purchase and I have not regretted the money I've spent. I'll get off the soapbox with that one. I don't regret buying good makeup brushes either. I don't generally buy sets because I pretty much know what kind of brushes I like and most sets I might like the eye but I don't like the face or I like the blush but I don't like the powder so I generally buy individual brushes um, and I do buy a better brush 
because I do think that the key to makeup looking good is blending. And if you don't have decent brushes, the blending is almost impossible. I really think brushes make a difference. When I worked at Alta at Christmas time two years ago, and I'm going back for this Christmas too, um, I got a bunch of dads, a single dads that have, were buying for their girls and they wanted to buy the makeup and we sold them some reasonably priced makeup, usually something that a, um, a YouTube person, an influencer for younger people uh, had put out because then they can go online and see. But I always encourage the dads to buy a little bit better set of brushes. I said it'll make the difference. He, uh, the one guy, one dot man said, she's not even allowed to wear it to school yet. And I said, yes, but when she is allowed, it'll make the difference between being perfectly made up and blended than looking like a clown. And the, the brush techniques is what she needs, needs to know most at this age. And they all did buy a better set of brushes. So, I mean, it's a compelling argument for decent makeup brushes and it, they do work better and they do blend better and blending is everything in makeup. I don't regret buying my car. I have a small SUV, it's a Suzuki and I love that car. When my husband couldn't drive because he lost his sight in his one eye from um, because of his lymphoma, uh, the his white blood cells were really low and the shingles reactivated in his body and, infe and infected his brain and uh, optic nerves. Um, so he lost sight in one eye and had some sight loss in the left eye, but which he regained all of the left eye, but the right eye never came back. So I was able to, I was not the, a winner driver. Um, I was very spoiled and my dad would come and pick me up till I, till he couldn't do it anymore. I was 35 years old when I drove the first time in the snow. So gives you some idea, but this car, I can go anywhere and do anything. And I love this car and it is my retirement buggy. And I'm hoping it lasts, I'm hoping it outlasts me. <laughs> um, all the jewelry that I bought, I don't regret number four, all the jewelry that I bought years ago. I bought a lot of jewelry years ago and I am so happy that I did because I love jewelry. I love silver and the amount of money that I paid for silver back then cannot be repurchased today. I have a big silver bangle bracelet that has some heft to it. I mean, it's wide and it's uh, fat and I paid, I know, $12 for that bracelet. And today I saw a bracelet on eBay just like it. And they were selling it used for $350. Previously owned they used, they, is the term they used. I don't regret number five, our mattress. Our mattress, uh, we tried to go cheaper and between our number bed, and this number bed, we bought another mattress. It only lasted three years because we couldn't stand it. My husband wasn't comfortable, I wasn't comfortable. The thing was miserable and we spent a fortune on it. That'll be in one of the things that I regret buying. We should have gotten the money and bought the number bed because I like soft, he likes firm, he liked firm. And the only way that works out is with a number bed and I, love my number bed. I do. Sometimes when I'm a little bit sore, I'll go a little hot, uh, a little harder, a little softer. And I like having the ability to adjust that if I need to. Okay. Um, number six, all my kitchen little appliances, my multi-pot. I love that thing because it's a slow cooker. It's a saute pan. It's a roaster. It's everything combined. But what I like in it is I don't have to dirty a pan to brown a roast, or I don't have to dirty another pan to, you know, I can saute right in there and then start my slow cooker right in that thing. And I love it. I love my Insta, I don't actually have the Instapot name. I have a pressure cooker that I recently purchased. And I love that too. And I love my air fryer and I could go on and on and on, but I don't regret any, I regret one air fryer, the type that I bought. 
uh, but I don't regret anything of any, any of the other ones that I have still. I don't regret buying our trailer. Our trailer probably wasn't a good idea when we did it because he was already very sick. Um, and uh, again, we had to go into um, hawk for it, as they say. Um, but we wouldn't have had the fun we had because our old trailer was huge. Uh, we had bought it with the idea that we were going to spend winters in, in, in Florida, uh, which never came to fruition because of his illness. But it was too, hot, too large for uh, him to deal with, um, with his failing health. So I, despite the fact that it's, um, it's a financial issue for me right now, I do not regret buying it. Not for one second. There are great memories in that trailer. I do not regret, number eight, buying our big screen TVs. We have a big screen, 3D, 4K, whatever it is, TV in the living room that we just bought probably about eight months ago. And we also have a larger screen TV. It's not quite as large as the living room, but we have a large screen TV in the bedroom. And with my husband losing his sight in one eye, I am so glad we had that large TV that he could watch when he had to be in the in the bedroom, uh, when he needed more rest, and when you know he just needed to lay down. I'm so glad we had that big TV. Um, it is something that, and I still enjoy it. I've enjoyed it since we got it, but it did serve a huge purpose uh, during his illness. I, number nine, I don't regret, regret buying any electronics. There is an, I, no, that's a lie. I regret buying one electronic piece, which I'll talk about in the next, uh, the things I regret buying. But I don't regret buying my iPhone, my iPad, or my MacBook. Or the, um, I also have, um, oh, what's her name? <laughs> Alexa. I don't regret in buy, buying my Alexas. I have Alexa, the one with a good speaker, with uh, Amazon Music, and I really enjoy her in my kitchen. I also enjoy being able to say how many tablespoons in a quarter cup or anything else I need to know while I'm in the kitchen or anywhere else in the house. Um, it's nice to know when I'm getting dressed in the bedroom in the morning. Uh, to go do my running around, to know what today's weather, to be able to ask her what today's weather is going to be without turning on a TV or doing anything else. I can just get the information I need without having to watch the news. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, I hope that uh, somebody, some other people will consider doing this. The nine things that you don't regret buying. And then the next one is the nine things you do regret buying. You've already heard a couple of mine, but you'll hear a little bit more about them the next time. Thank you. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little stop drop in for me today. Please don't mind. Second day hair is what you're seeing here today and very little makeup. So uh, with that, I hope you have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.